there is this concern about the, the authors uh, the creators uh, who want to com control the commercial exploitation of their works and it, the, the right to opt out from such commercial uses is given to those authors in theory at least. So what we have seen in practice in, in the past year is that there's a lot of uncertainty on how to exclude works from mining in an effective way and whether such opt-outs will be respected by machine learning uh, developers. So there's no standard, there's no best practices on how to communicate the rights reservation and machine learning developers as we know, do not always disclose their training data, uh, nor the sources of rights reservations that they are consulting and respecting. So that's where our recommendations and our blog posts come into play. In our opinion, uh, in order to preserve this commercial text and data mining exception, two things need to happen. First, machine learning development needs to become more transparent. And second, we need clarity on how to make the opt-outs effective. So in our view, a training data transparency requirement should be introduced in the EU mm -hmm. in order to uphold the opt-out system. Uh, and this should be, of course, a very reasonable and very proportional uh, requirement to avoid placing disproportionate burden on machine learning uh, developers. So for instance, this means that those using publicly available data sets or those submitting data with a data trust that would ensure conditional access to the data set to confirm legal compliance with, this, uh, with the opt-outs should probably not be required to provide any other information. So I think this would probably affect uh, mostly the machine learning developers that are not disclosing anything uh, publicly. So, we think for those, uh, the requirement would have the effect to, um, to require them to show at least that they have respect certain rights, certain uh, rights reservation sources. And of course, the, commercial, the commission has a crucial role to play in all of this. So in our opinion, it should lead discussions to provide guidance on how the opt-outs is supposed to work in practice. And the same with the transparency requirements. So we think that uh, the commission should discuss with stakeholders on how this requirement should be designed and what's reasonable and what's not.